Texas How To's with Aaron. Today I'm going to show you how to make pizza dough and how to make pizza. This is going to be a slow rise dough and I'll also show you how to do a fast rise dough. So for the slow rise dough, today we're doing uh, just going to make one dough ball, one cup of flour's worth, basically enough for one person. Starting off with one third a cup of cold water. Mixing in a quarter teaspoon of salt. Nice and dissolved. Got our one cup of flour. Let's put just a little bit in. This will help the salt and the yeast not counteract when they first get mixed. Now a quarter teaspoon of yeast. And a quarter teaspoon of sugar. can already smell the yeast kicking in. Now let's do the rest of the flour. This was one cup. It's going to start to get real dry and sticky like. And at this point we'll switch to using our hands. little bit of flour on my hands to help it not stick to me and a little flour on the counter and I'm going to just start kneading it in together Want to work it just till it's smooth, just for no more than two minutes. Starting to get nice and smooth, and it went from a uh, dry to a damp, warm kind of feeling. And I can definitely smell the yeast. So I'm just going to start to work it into a nice smooth ball. Now I'm going to take some cooking spray, some olive oil. Spray the bowl, get our ball in, and spray the ball. Lid's going on, and putting it in the fridge. For this recipe, it's a minimum of 24 hours and max of 72 for this slow rise dough. So in three days, we'll check on it and be ready to bake. All right, so we're three days later. And I've got our dough ball out of the fridge. We're going to let it warm up. I uh, took it out three hours before the time that we're wanting to eat. And we're two hours before that now. So it's been out for one hour. And now I'm going to do another ball that's going to be a fast rise dough. We've got our mixing bowl. We're going to mix it all in. And we're going to put all our dry ingredients in. One cup of flour. And for this one, I've got a high quality uh, Tipo Zero Zero high protein flour. Uh, this is the extra good stuff. It should be uh, stretchier, tastier, and all kinds of better. The first one, I just use regular Pillsbury, and so we'll be able to kind of see the difference of the two doughs. I got this one on Amazon, $8 a bag, but very high quality. It even has a little bit more yellow type color to it. Now this one, I'm not going to put the lid all the way on because this is a fast rise so we want some of the gases to be coming out. So I'm just putting it on one side, not actually closing it tight. And we're not going to put it in the fridge, we're just going to leave it right out on the counter. 
Gonna let this rise two hours and we'll be ready to bake. Once we get ready to bake, I'm gonna preheat the oven to as hot as it can go, which for us is 475, which that's a great temperature. I'm gonna put this pizza stone in the same time that I preheat so that it gets hot with the oven and won't crack. I'm gonna do the cold rise dough first. Little flour on the counter and my hands. And we've got a nice dough ball, perfect for one pizza. So I did one cup of flour to make one dough ball. If you were doing a large quantity, you could have done four, six, eight cups of flour and let it rise and then cut it into smaller pieces and then let it rise some more. Um, either way works. If you're gonna do that, let it rise two hours and then put it in the fridge to rise some more. But here we go with our one dough ball. And just gonna take it straight out and flatten it straight out. Not gonna do any weird folds or anything like that to mess up the texture. Nice and stretchy. This was our Pillsbury dough. Got it about like I want it. Now I'm gonna take some flour and sprinkle this side. Making sure I get all of it and just the right amount so that it's not sticking. And now I'm gonna flip it over. Let's make sure we got some flour there. And so this will be the top. Got all my toppings ready so that I can be relatively fast so that the dough won't stick to the counter because it likes to try to. And we all know the better your ingredients are, the better your pizza will be. I like to use Prego. Frigo, Frigo. And pour milk. It's nearly impossible to put too many pepperonis. Now to get it on the stone, I've got this pizza peel that we will also dust with flour. Nice and swift. Let's leave some of this cheese behind. Boom. Now I'm gonna bake it for eight minutes. Now let's do our fast rise high protein Tipo 00. It rose real nice. So I can tell already with this high protein 00 flour, it does feel more stretchy. It's allowing it to stretch, but still stay together. Okay, our first one is done. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out with the peel. Looking very nice. So both flowers are looking pretty similar. This one feels a little softer as I'm cutting it. The cheese is so, so cheesy. This is the Pillsbury dough. The crust has a nice sweet without too sweet taste. Nothing like the homemade taste. Here's the Tipo Zero Zero pizza. Very good also. 
This one's definitely tastes richer. Both very good. I'd have to say the winner is a Tipo 00. And uh, they're both great. So that's how I do it. That's how you can do it. As far as the pizza stone, that's going to stay in there until it cools off so I don't cool it too fast and break it. When I want to clean it, I'm just going to set my oven to clean mode and let it clean with the oven. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See other cool videos about how to do a bunch of different cool stuff. Be blessed.